Howdy folks, it's Angel the Hunting Gear Guy. Today I wanted to talk about 6.5 Swede versus 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, there's not a lot of difference. <laughs> there's not a lot of difference at all. Okay, well the, the 6.5 Swede or 6.5 Swedish Mauser uh, is from the 1800s. Uh, the Creedmoor is from 2007. The long and short of it, the Creedmoor is a little bit shorter on a case, so you can run it in a true short action. The Swedish uh, is a little bit longer. Oh, you want more? Okay, well, let's talk about more. Okay, so 6.5 Creedmoor has like a quarter inch uh, shorter case, which uh, will allow it to fit into shorter actions. Uh, it's more modern. Uh, so like that's that's one of the, the big differences. And you see that across the, the case itself, like the, the Swede has a little bit more uh, taper in the body. Originally, that would have been great for extraction, getting that, that case out of the chamber would have been better. Uh, the Creedmoor is quite a bit straighter uh, along its body here, so that gives it a little bit more volume, but it doesn't actually need the volume. Okay, so the Swede has more volume inside it. It's got uh, 3.68 uh, cc's inside there versus 3.12 in the Creedmoor. So you'd think, oh my goodness, this one has more case capacity, this one go faster because they use the same bullets, right? They'll use like a 140, 130 grain bullet anywhere in there. But the Creedmoor is just the same speed as the Swede, uh, depending on what load you use and what factory ammo you're buying. So, um, you know, and, and a couple other like small changes, the Creedmoor has got a little bit of a sharper angle there. It's got a 30 degree neck. This one's got a 25, a little bit more shallow, but who cares about that? Um, how can they be the same speed. Well, that's because the Creedmoor allows for higher pressure than the Swede. The Swede's an older cartridge made for older rifles and uh, they just have it at a lower um, maximum pressure. So the Creedmoor runs at higher pressure, the Swede runs at lower pressure, but they get you the same velocity. You're looking at, at pretty much exactly the same speed out of these things. Uh, if you reload, you're gonna get the same speed out of both of them. If you buy factory loadings, depending on the factory loading, the Swede might be a little bit slower than the Creedmoor just because they're running at a lower pressure so that no one sues them if their old gun blows up. Uh, but that's uh, that's really it. Uh, the, the, only, the only practical difference between the two of them if you're gonna reload is that the Swede, you could, um, you could run like, run like a 160 grain bullet in it because it's got quite a bit more case capacity again. So you could run it like a bigger, heavier bullet if you wanted, I don't know, like something with some monstrous BC on it. Uh, that's possible, ballistic coefficient. So, you know, throwing a javelin instead of throwing a ping pong, right? Uh, you could do that with the Swede versus the Creedmoor. The Creedmoor is going to reload a little bit better because it's going to grow less because of that sharp shoulder on there. So for a reloader, that would point to uh, the Creedmoor being better. Ultimately, they're very similar. They do practically the same thing. Uh, you're going to find the Creedmoor in a lot of uh, modern firearms because it's kind of turned into the de facto like popular uh, deer hunting rifle uh, or cartridge other than like a 308 or something like that. Uh, so it's great for that kind of a thing. The Swedish does the same thing and has been doing the same thing for over 100 years. So uh, if you if you find like an old Mauser or something like that in 6.5 Swede, uh, it would be fine. You're, we're also seeing these in some other uh, more modern rifles, uh, the CZ 600s, and some, some European rifles, for example. You might find that 6.5 uh, Swedish Mauser uh, or 6.5 by 55. But ultimately, these two cartridges do practically the same thing. I'd say the only like practical difference, if you are um, buying factory new ammo, 6.5 Creedmoor ammo right now is way cheaper than 6.5 Sweet. I was just looking at Federal and their 6.5 Creedmoor, it says 37.99 MSRP for a 140 grain power shock. And for the same thing, 140 grain for the Swedish is 58.99. So it looks like it's about, uh, $21 more expensive for the Swedish ammo versus the Creedmoor. And it's just because popularity, right? Not as many people are buying the uh, the older rounds anymore. But uh, anyways, that's the two cartridges. They're very similar. Um, I have both now. Thanks for watching.